Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first ever Louis Vuitton haul. <clears throat> Excuse me, ooh, got a little dry there. Um, so, at the, well, for a while now, I have been in love with Louis Vuitton and I just have not wanted to invest in the purchases because of the prices can be a bit much of a sticker shock. So what I did to kind of get my feet wet was I decided I would buy pre-loved furs to make sure I was comfortable with purchasing Louis Vuitton and to get acquainted with the brand and also visiting the store and checking out the product in the store, touching the product, talking to the essays and just kind of getting their feedback on the product and just get a little bit more acquainted with the brand of the product so I could feel a little bit more comfortable with making those purchases because they are investment pieces and you have to be okay once you buy those pieces because sometimes you can have buyer's remorse because the prices may be you know a little bit of a sticker shock so I want to show you some of the pieces that I have invested in these are my pre-loved items that I have purchased I bought these um, maybe two months ago I started buying these in April the beginning of April so I'll show you the first item that I bought it was sent to me in this box here because it is pre-loved so I got it in this uh, you regular mailbox the person who mailed it to me she wrapped it up in this paper and then she put on it this ribbon oh i can't get the ribbon it's it's wrapped around my tripod it's wrapped in a ribbon it came from california and i explained to her that this was my first louis vuitton purchase and that i was excited to get it because i was looking online at their website and i was interested in the sarah wallet and when I saw the $700, I was like, no ma'am, I'm not paying $700 for a wallet because that's just a bit much, even though I liked it. And then the other problem is that the new Sarah wallet that they have is different from the old style. The new one has that envelope style with the V on the front. And I liked the one with the flat, um, uh, I guess, line going across horizontal line. So I wanted to get that. So it came in this box here. It says Louis Vuitton. It's dented. It's a used pre-loved item so I wasn't expecting for it to come like brand new or anything like that but the fact that it did come with the box I was happy with it and of course you've seen the boxes where they slide out uh, came in this and the here in the dust cover dust cover was in really good shape so I was really excited to see that it still came with the box and dust cover so I was okay with that take it out here and here she is look at her look at her the condition on this is immaculate i mean this is a 2012 model so you can see that the design here is straight across the button says louis vuitton here open the button up you get your card slots here you have two on this side two on this side this is made in the usa hopefully you can see that it says louis vuitton uh, Paris on it so I know that this model was a US model which I was okay with I didn't really care uh, it has the slot here and then it has the zipper look at that butter it has the zipper pocket here and then it has these six card slots in the back and this one did come with the textile card she did include this with this wallet and then it has this slot in the back so the this does have the date stamp is in here. I forget where it's at. The date stamp is in here. It's in, it's in this tab down here in the bottom. And it says SD2122. SD2122. So Sarah Wallet snaps the edges. The piping edges is really good. All the stitching is still intact everything is 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 really good so i was happy that that when i got this wallet everything was in good shape i purchased this from tradez uh the online consignment shop that is up and coming so it's not like the other ones where you have to send them the product and then they do check it out to make sure that it is real or not so you have to be careful with this site because someone can send you a fake but you do get like four days to return the item if you suspect that it's a fake. So what I did was I purchased this 
I took it to the Louis Vuitton store. Now, you'll hear people say that, oh yeah, Louis Vuitton authenticated my product. Louis Vuitton does not authenticate products, and some stores will even tell you that they can't, you know, because they'll be in jeopardy for their job, so some essays may not help you with that. Now, so what I did was I asked her to let me see another wallet that was very similar. So I asked for the Sarah wallet, the new one that was very similar to this, and I compared all the features and the details myself from the uh, texture of the material to the button quality to the insides. I mean, I compared everything to see if it was a drastic difference or, or what the difference would be in the, in the material. And there was no difference in this from the new one. I mean, none at all. The same size, button is the same style, same color, stitching is the same. I mean, everything matched. Every All the details matched perfectly. And so I knew that this one here was an authentic wallet. So I'm very happy with this. So I was happy to get my hands on this Sarah wallet. I'll put that to the side. So my second pre-love item that I bought after I bought the Sarah wallet, I went bigger and I went bolder. And I was watching a YouTube video and this girl showed a bag that came, I got it in this box here, it's a really big box, regular box, nothing special about the box. Here, here is the bag, the dust bag that it came in. And let's take this beauty out of this here. This is the bag. It is the Nolita and the Damier Abine. I love that. The Nolita and the Damier Abine. This bag is from 2003. The owner barely used it because of the style of bag is very neat and it's a large bag. So if you're not really into large bags, this, this bag will not be ideal. When I got it, I was a bit concerned because it was so big and I was like, oh no, it's a suitcase. But I figured I can use this to travel with and so I decided to keep it. I also purchased this from Tradesy and this bag is in immaculate condition. So I did check all the stitching on this. I did check the zipper pull on here. It zips the way it's supposed to. You do need two hands to zip this up because it is a big doctor style bowling ball bag. All the hardware is in good shape. All the piping is in good shape. And I was very happy to get my hands on this. So this is the Nolita and the Dampier Abin. So I waited about two weeks and of course I went, once you buy one Louis Vuitton, you get obsessed and then you start to buy more. You start to crave more Louis Vuitton and that's what happened. I was stocking the clays and I want to get them all in all the prints, but I knew my first, I guess, love so far is the monogram print. So I dibble dabbled into the Damier Bean with the, with the Nolita because I saw that in that print and wanted that specific bag. But I did also buy this pre-loved. And this is the clay. Came in this box here. Came with the regular uh, with the regular dust bag here. And this one was a brand new item. This young lady barely used it because you could tell she barely used it because it's like brand brand new. Like no scratches. There was no scratches, no scuffing on the gold. I mean. I mean, she barely used it if she did. She's used it a little bit, but it's not enough to where it's drastic. So I have the monogram clay, or I'm excited to have this as a charm. She, she did send the cards that come with it. This one is a made in France item. My Nolita is made in Spain. The Nolita is made in Spain, and the wallet is made in the USA. So. Made in France, this was my other pre-love item, is the monogram clay. I paid, I paid 730 for the Nolita. And I paid 171.50 for this key clay. In stores right now, it's 200 for the clay. And then with tax, you can spend around 220, 218, 215. Depending on where you live, the higher your sale tax, the more you'll pay. I didn't want to pay full price for it because it's so little. I mean, it's a little 
small leather good. So I was okay with buying this pre-love and the condition of it was so wonderful that I didn't care. So this is my third item from Louis Vuitton. All these items, I do have the dust bag with them. I don't have the boxes with them, but that's okay. I'm sure that as I start to acquire more Louis Vuitton, I will get boxes eventually and all the other things. So my last purchase that I bought came also pre-loved in this box here. Came in this box, came from California. Came in this dust bag here. This is a vintage piece. I lean more towards the vintage pieces. I wanted a speedy, but I did not want to spend $970 for a speedy bag. I just didn't. Um, maybe in the future when I want the Damia Azure, I'll spend that for that bag. But until then, I needed to get my feet wet with the with a vintage one. So. This is the bag. I have been keeping it folded. I bought all of these within a month's time. Also got this off Trade Z. Here's the bag here. Empty, so you see it, the shape, all that good stuff. This bag is a made in France bag. I was happy to get this. Oh. See, we can pull that back. I was happy to get this as a made in France model. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. I was happy to get this as a made in France model and the piping, everything on this bag is in really good condition. The piping, the handles are a little dirty, but it has this really gorgeous patina on it that it is starting to get it. And I was okay with the handles being dirty because I know that I mean, it's a bag. Someone was carrying it. She was carrying the bag, but she took really good care of the bag. The inside of the uh, pocket is, is it's in really good condition. There's no peeling. There's no sticking. It did come with the lock and key, which I have it in here. I've been keeping my lock and key right here. Um, of course, the inside was in very good condition. There's no stains. There's nothing wrong with the inside. And then my up under my pocket is my date code here this bag was made in 2002 so it's a 2002 bag everything on the bag is in really good shape really good condition and i'm very excited to have this i paid 551 dollars for this bag on Tracy's website so uh, i will list all the items of this video in the description box and how much i paid all the sellers were very good to work with. Um, they answered all of my questions that I sent back and forth, whether it was send me more pictures so I can see where did you buy it, do you have the bags, do you have the receipt, do you have the tags, whatever I needed to get as information just to confirm that I was getting legit bags. And then after I made the purchases, I did take these items over to the Louis Vuitton store to compare it to a real item because I wanted to make sure that when I looked at this bag or my item and I saw it in the store that there were no drastic differences. Now, I know that right now they are making like for like or one for one uh, replicas of Louis Vuitton bags. I don't think that back in the day that they were making this good a quality of replica bag for the Louis Vuitton, especially with the stitching and everything like that, because the stitching is dead on with the with the color, all the piping and stitching is, is perfect. I mean, there's nothing out of line. You know, there are some scuffing on the piping, but it's expected because this is a, uh, a very old bag. It's from 2002, so, you know, it has some age on it, but it's in really good condition. And I'm excited about this bag. And so these are my Louis Vuitton purchase. So if you have any questions or anything else you want me to review on my experiences with using Tracy, just shoot me a message down below and I will respond to any questions that you all have. So thank you all for watching. Welcome to my channel. And I hope you enjoyed my very first Louis Vuitton haul of many more to come. So I'll see you all in the next video. And until then, stay lovely.